Hunter Biden, son of President Joe Biden, made headlines on Thursday by pleading guilty to nine federal tax charges in a Los Angeles courtroom, a move that caught prosecutors by surprise and helped him avoid a second criminal trial. The charges stem from an investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice DOJ, which accused Biden of failing to pay at least $1.4 million in self-assessed federal taxes between 2016 and 2019. He was also charged with filing false returns in 2018 to evade the assessment of taxes. The 53-year-old had initially pleaded not guilty to all charges, which included three felony counts of tax evasion and filing a false return, along with six misdemeanor counts of failure to file. However, during the first day of trial, Biden changed his strategy and offered an Alford plea. This type of plea allows a defendant to maintain their innocence while acknowledging that the prosecution has sufficient evidence to convict them. U.S. District Judge Mark Scarcy, who is overseeing the case, was taken aback by the sudden proposal, as were the prosecutors, who had not been informed of the possible plea beforehand. Following a brief recess, Judge Scarcy told the courtroom that he would need a compelling reason to either accept or reject the Alford plea. At that point, Biden's lawyer, Abe Lowell, shifted course and informed the judge that his client would instead plead guilty to all charges outright. The decision marked a significant development in Biden's ongoing legal troubles. Accompanied by his wife, Melissa Cohen Biden, Hunter Biden appeared solemn as he entered the courtroom. His wife has been a consistent presence during his legal battles, including his unrelated gun charge trial earlier this year. In June, Biden was convicted by a Delaware jury for lying about his drug use on a federal form in 2018 when purchasing a firearm, which he only possessed for 11 days. That time, his legal team expressed disappointment with the verdict and vowed to challenge the ruling. Sentencing for the gun conviction is scheduled for November 13, where Biden faces a potential maximum sentence of 25 years in prison. However, as a first-time offender, he is expected to receive a much lighter sentence, or potentially avoid prison time altogether. During the tax trial, Biden's defense team had previously signaled their intention to argue that Biden did not act willfully or intend to break the law. They sought to partially attribute his actions to his struggles with drug and alcohol addiction, issues that Biden has been open about in his 2021 memoir, Beautiful Things. The memoir details his lifelong battle with substance abuse, particularly his addiction to crack cocaine. Despite these efforts, Judge Scarcy ruled that Biden's defense could not link his addiction to the deaths of his older brother, Beau Biden, who passed away from cancer in 2015, or his mother, Nylia Hunter, and baby sister, Naomi Biden, who were tragically killed in a car accident when Hunter was a child. Scarcy also barred the defense from introducing expert testimony on addiction as a factor in the case. Originally, there had been a plea deal in place that would have allowed Hunter Biden to avoid trial for both his tax and gun charges. This agreement included a diversion program, which would have spared him from more severe legal consequences. However, that deal fell apart in July 2023 after judicial scrutiny. Now, with Biden's guilty plea on the tax charges, Judge Scarcy has scheduled his sentencing for December 16th. Biden faces up to 17 years in prison for the tax offenses, though his legal team will likely continue advocating for leniency based on his status as a first-time offender and his personal history of substance abuse. As the legal proceedings continue to unfold, the case remains a significant focus of public attention, given Hunter Biden's high-profile status and the broader political implications of his legal troubles.